Hey, what's good, powerful people? This is the Power Living with Purpose podcast with David C. Henderson, and this is Tactical Tuesday. All right, this Tactical Tuesday is if you really want to be successful, find a mentor or mentors. All right, Tactical Tuesday is sponsored by Opportunities Unlimited Business Group, where ambition and success unite. Um, www.weroubg.com, www dot we are oubg dot com is business networking career networking business opportunities investment opportunities um venture capital opportunities all that type of stuff all right so check it out we are oubg dot com all right so um if you really want to be successful find a mentor or mentors all right i was on a radio show last week uh doing an interview uh, it was Reverend Jay's Self Care Station, and it's on innerlightradio.net. I want to say Inner Light Radio. All right, but anyway, during the conversation, I was talking about the mentors that I had coming up uh, in, Tusk- in terms of deciding what I wanted to be in life. I knew I wanted to go into some area of sports, uh, some area of sports, medicine, something like that. I didn't know what, though. Um, I was following in my great grandfather's footsteps. He was the first black uh, male physical education teacher in the United States. Um, uh, it's Dr. E.B. Henderson. Um, he's called the grandfather of black basketball, uh, considered one of the first black men in, in the United States to teach the sport of basketball, which gave rise to the YMCA's, the, the um, Boys and Girls Club, the, and then eventually NBA. Uh, going from the you know little league all the way on up to the NBA, um, but I was following in his footsteps, and it, but I had a mentor, Dr. Theodore Childs, who was a, a physical therapist, and he gave me some advice on how to get in the different ways I can go into sports medicine, athletic training, personal training, stuff like that, and they gave me good advice. So I majored in physical education, and then after that. Um, um, branched off into fitness but i could have branched off into athletic training if i wanted to that was what i knew i was originally i was going to do athletic training but um i decided to go into personal training but uh that also was part of having a mentor when i as soon as i got to stillman college i found out who was the athletic trainer and i said i wanted to go talk to him so i went to him talked to him gave me advice about athletic training i was like cool all right bet but my, my junior year I ended up um, meeting, um, well, I ended up getting the opportunity to work in fitness. So I got to that. Then my boss there, he became like a mentor. So he kind of taught me more about fitness and this and that, you know, and so forth. So I had that as a, had him as a mentor. And then um, later on, um, I, I, well, around that time, I also signed up in um, Quickstar, which is Amway, Network Marketing. All of the people, a lot of the people above me, were business owners, so I was surrounded by business owners. So that gave me confidence to, that one day I could start my own business. So from the career path, going from athletic training to personal training, um, and then the fitness job opportunity in college, where I worked the last three years, because I did it took me five years to graduate. Um, then um, the um, being surrounded by business owners, and then starting start start starting my own business. Um, one year after uh, college and in my own fitness center, three years after college, it was all, all that, a lot of that was, was mentors. But here's the problem. When I started running the gym, I didn't have a mentor. And those 10 years of running the gym, I was just pretty much, you know, going off what I thought. And uh, unfortunately, the gym closed. We weren't able to keep enough members. And now we shifted to virtual and we're taking that virtual concept nationwide and eventually worldwide. But if I would have had a mentor, a mentor um, during those 10 years of business, um, to actually 12, first two years with no gym, but then I would have been way better off if I would have just had that mentor to help me uh, along the way and say, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? I don't know, you know, and so forth. Oh, you know, no, no, you don't need to do that. You need to do this. You need to do it like that. If I would have had that mentor, it would have been a huge difference. But so... Now I do seek mentor. I do have uh, some some mentors who I'm um, looking, who I'm working with to uh, help me to, you know, uh, make sure I'm going in the right directions. And uh, everybody uh, in life, you should have a financial advisor 
And if you're married, you should have a marriage counselor, no matter how great, no matter how much, how, how in love y'all are, how, no matter how uh, wonderful you think your marriage is, you still need a marriage counselor to work through some things, to understand some stuff. Your financial counselor, your marriage counselor, your personal, like a, a personal therapist, you know, if you can afford it. Um, but uh, and, and if not, you got uh, motivational speakers online for free. Um, you got discount stuff online, I'm sure. Um, different things and different services and whatnot. But um, basically, if you really want to be successful in life, find a mentor or mentors. All right. So um, as well as, like I said, the professional coaching, your professional services like that will make a huge difference. If you try, if you think that you know it all and you think you can do it by yourself, you are completely wrong. Everybody does better with a mentor, with a coach, with somebody helping them along the way. All right, if you do that, then that's power living. Stay powerful, my friends.